four, three, two, one. Cue music. This is Movies First with Alex First. Faith and loss are but two subjects tackled in an artistic look at life, struggle, turmoil and joy from Swedish auteur Roy Anderson. A series of seemingly disconnected vignettes builds a picture of the world pre-COVID-19 in which we live. It's a reflection of life in all its beauty and cruelty, splendour and banality. Simultaneously, an ode and a lament about endlessness presents a kaleidoscope of that which is eternally human. In other words, it's an infinite story of the vulnerability of existence. After each scene, the camera fades to black. Over the top of some pieces is a female voiceover, which inevitably starts with the words, I saw a man, woman or couple doing something. For instance, I saw a woman incapable of showing shame. I saw a young man who had yet to find love. I saw a man who'd lost his faith. I saw a couple of lovers floating above a city renowned for its beauty, now in ruins. Inspired by the character of Scheherazade in the Arabian Nights, this marks the first time that Anderson has used such a narrator in his films. He was influenced by the voice in Hiroshima Mon Amour. He tried a man and then himself before settling on a female vocalisation. Inconsequential moments take on the same significance as historical events in About Endlessness. There's something stark and at times poetic in what Anderson has crafted. The snippets appear to be sounding boards or talking points, a reflection of where the world is at and arguably has always been. What can and does happen to us? How much do we care? How much of it is random? You're listening to Movies First. For more, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Without working my way chapter and verse through every component, some of the images are particularly powerful. Amongst them is a priest who's lost his way, which follows a man being flagellated as he drags a heavy wooden cross through the streets to cries of crucify. There's Hitler's hollow face in the wake of the destruction of the Nazi empire and a defeated army trudging through snow to prison camps in Siberia. Mostly, one scene does not appear to have any link to another, but on occasions we loop back to an earlier reference point. A case in point is a middle-aged man who realises many decades on that he's wronged a former fellow school student and later is put out by the fact that that pupil has gone on to achieve more than he has. There's the joy of a grandmother taking photographs of her young grandchild in his father's arms and three girls dancing in the street outside a cafe. However, most images presented a more troubling and concerned issues. A man who doesn't trust banks keeps his money under his mattress. A waiter fails to concentrate and pours red wine over a crisp white tablecloth next to a patron in a fine dining restaurant. With an empty coffin nearby, a man is tied to a post by soldiers and begs for his life. While parents who've lost their son in a war lay flowers against his gravestone. The camera often appears to linger to sheet home the stark imagery. About Endlessness is a film for selective tastes. It will undoubtedly confound many and attract others, for it certainly does not follow any conventional narrative. I find myself in the latter camp. I appreciated Anderson's efforts and the fact that nothing was explained, merely presented, allowing me to lose myself in my own thoughts about what was depicted. About Endlessness scores an 8 out of 10. You've been listening to Movies First with Alex First. Available at Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio or your favourite podcast player. You can also stream on demand at Bytes.com. This has been another quality podcast production from Bytes.com.